Wendy Chu wisely getting out of the way. Says, hey man, you can't beat me out here. Oh, oh, and Tiffany coming down on that ankle kind of bad. Tiffany coming down on that ankle kind of bad. Oh, and a straight jacket suplex on the outside. Hey, oh, it's your boy, Miss of Faith, and this is WWE how it should be. And the chaos that's currently on your screen is a triple threat match, the start of a triple threat match for the United States Championship. After this, we're going to be kicking off our Queen of the Ring tournament. And for our main event, our WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns will be gracing us with his presence. Timestamps are in the video. Feel free to skip ahead or around. All I ask is that you guys hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you like the content. But, hey, man, let's get into commentating here. Jeez. Already, we've seen some pretty clubbing, devastating blows delivered by everybody. But for those of you unfamiliar with these three athletes, these three superstars, allow me to... Uh, give them their proper introductions. First, we have Shelton Benjamin delivering that great suplex there. Uh, athleticism matched by maybe only a handful of people in WWE history. Uh, then we have, oh, Tony D'Angelo, our United States champion, and, and uh, former member of the mob. You can tell he's had experience uh, taking a, a baseball bat to someone before. He wielded that thing with excellence. And, and then we also have Cameron Grimes, a guy who's sneaky athletic. I mean, let, let's be honest. <laughs> the man comes out to country music and uh, it's all, country music that's about making money, which is very weird. And he's wearing a top hat. I, I don't really know what his gimmick is. Oh! But yet he's super strong, super athletic, super fast. You would think he'd be more of a, of a, ooh, daddy's money type of guy. But no, he's, he's a self-made man. And, uh, really, all three of these guys have had their their shots, their spots, and their opportunities on this channel. Tony D'Angelo, though, definitely the most impressive so far. I mean, arguably the greatest and best United States champion that we've seen in the history of this series. So, and, and I, uh, not to my credit, that, that bar has been set pretty low since we haven't been giving much attention to the United States Championship, but Tony Angelo looking to put this match away. Uh, essentially, right as it's starting. All right, folks, we bring you forward just a little bit into this match. These men have gone at it all over the arena. Outside the ring, on the ramp, in the crowd. They've finally come back to the ring. And uh, I'm imagining that this is, is can't be anything other than the closing moments of this match. <laughs> These men have put each other through... Ooh, uh, through absolute turmoil. And now, oh, Tony D'Angelo going up top. You don't see that from him very often, but soaring through the air gracefully, sticks the landing, but Cameron Grimes there trying to capitalize. And now, Tony, Tony able to get out of that even. Oh, stiff right hand. And look at him, just assaulting Cameron Grimes. What's he looking to do now, though? Oh, just getting out of the ring before Shelton Benjamin got in. Very great ring awareness. You knew Shelton and Grimes were going to turn their attention to each other. Uh oh, what do we got here? Oh, suplex turned into power bomb, and Tony D'Angelo turns to the assault on Cameron Grimes before he could capitalize. But now Cameron Grimes, oh, swinging sidewalk slam. And Shelton Benjamin seems to spring back to life. To bring that one up and oh now a springboard clothesline from Benjamin to Grimes Tony D'Angelo rolls out of the ring yet again to find safety can't stay out there too long though because this match could come to an end very abruptly if you're not careful what's he got now introducing yet another weapon Tony D has a chair in hand the ref trying to make sure he's getting out of everybody's way here doesn't want an accidental chair shot to the nugget Oh, but Shelton Benjamin timed it perfect. Hits him with the little Jimmy and gets the victory. All right, look, if you came here with the time stamps, I don't feel bad for you chose to be here. But for the people who ended up here watching the video naturally, look, I know that it looks silly. Someone in their pajamas is getting a spot in the Queen of the Ring tournament, but... 
Look, man, we got to hand it to Winnie Chu in her debut. She almost knocked off the, at the time, champ, Bianca Belair. So, you know, I feel like she's got to get a stake in the, the Queen of the Ring tournament. And, and Tiffany Stratton, I mean, she also had an impressive debut and since has had some pretty entertaining matches. So, I mean, look, we figure we give both these newbies a shot. One of them will advance, and, and this way we can have some new blood going to the uh, King of the Ring live events and competing to be Queen of the Ring. Oh! And hey, this is huge for both of them. I mean, a win here puts you one step closer to a title opportunity uh, to, to face Ronda Rousey, who competed earlier tonight. You guys didn't see it on screen, but uh, had a pretty good match. She, she won a six-woman match, so that was pretty impressive on her part. But you can see the level of animosity from Tiffany Stratton. She is taking this opportunity seriously. I mean, uh, she is a woman who grew up with plenty of opportunities. Uh, daddy's little rich girl. Or daddy's, wait, daddy's little rich, yeah, daddy's little rich girl. So, or is it rich daddy's little girl? Whatever her thing is, she's it. She had plenty of opportunities. She's used to taking advantage of them and looking to make this one no different. Tiffany. Back in control. The pendulum has swung back her way. Stratton. Oh! Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. She got a lot of torque in that. She got a lot of torque in that. But look at Wendy Chu wisely getting me out of the way. Says, hey, man, you can't beat me out here. Oh! Oh! And Tiffany coming down on that ankle kind of bad. Tiffany coming down on that ankle kind of bad. Oh! And then a straight jacket. Suplex on the outside. That matting's not very thick. There's straight concrete underneath there. Ladies and gentlemen, oh my. Tiffany coming down on that ankle hard, then laying on the back of the neck. Somebody check on her. Let's take a commercial break. All right, folks, we come back from commercial break. Ooh, Tiffany Stratton has been cleared to continue competing. I don't know what condition she's in. If she'll be able to really do much is Winnie Chu has, has been on her from the moment she stepped in the ring. Uh, if I'm Tiffany, I mean, I get it. There's a title opportunity on the line here. Queen of the Ring tournament. You win it all. You get your shot. But, you know, you also got to think about living a fight another day. You got your whole career ahead of you. If you're Tiffany Stratton. Oh! Oh, but she's bringing back up the action. Oh! Tiffany back up to her feet again. Oh! Back up again. No, oh, I kick, But, Wendy. Able to thwart all of Tiffany's attempts to get back into this. And, oh, a stiff right. Oh, another stiff right. Oh, jawbreaker from Wendy Chu. Tiffany Stratton, whoa, really doesn't know what hit her. And she's going to try to go under the ropes. Smart there. Smart there. Using the ropes to get back to her feet. But Wendy able to... Continue her assault here. Able to knock Tiffany off the apron. And now what's she planning on doing here? Oh, crossbow. <gasps> Tiffany Stratton caught Wendy Chu. Plucked her out of the air from ringside. Oh, my. Was Tiffany? Was Tiffany playing possum? Oh. Is it possible Tiffany was just milking it? Giving Winnie Chu a false sense of security. Baiting Wendy into taking a super high risk move only to make her pay. Is it possible? Oh my, oh, oh. Because if it is, if that's what happened, Tiffany's got brains and beauty. Wow, what a strategy. And, uh, folks, uh, oh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I couldn't imagine a better way to kick off Queen of the Ring than this match right here. I mean, oh, I didn't think it was going to be as good as it's turned out, but so far it has been absolutely phenomenal. And Tiffany looking to go up top yet again. Again, another elbow drop. Oh, no, no, ooh, a stomp. Straight to the gut of Winnie Chu, this time hooking the leg immediately. Winnie Chu still kicking out. And now we're starting to see the frustration. Daddy's little girl not getting her way. Is she going to throw a tantrum? Is she going to melt down? Oh. So far, she's, she's kept composure. That little outburst there, but 
She stayed right on Wendy this whole time. And, oh, maybe now getting a little too aggressive. Wendy's able to get out of the way. And Tiffany coming down on that same knee that she came down on that, that ankle that she came down on earlier. It's that same knee, same side. So, got to keep that in mind. Oh, oh! Full Nelson into a slam, hooks the leg, and that's it. Wendy Chu can go to sleep, at least since Phil, King of the Ring, where she will have to win two matches in one night to be crowned the queen of WWE and earn her title shot. Can she do it? I don't know. We'll have to tune in and find out, right? All right, folks. It is main event time, and uh, these two men have quite the show to cap off. I mean, uh, we see a great match with Shelton Benjamin winning his United States Championship from Tony D'Angelo, which has been crazy. Uh, we also saw an epic kickoff to the Queen of the Ring tournament. So, I mean, there's pressure on these guys to give us a good show here tonight. At least Adam Cole. I don't think Roman Reigns ever feels pressure, but, oh, I don't really think he cares to deliver a good show. But he demanded to be main event, so we'll We'll see what he's got for us. Look, man, I'm, I'm feeling good about this match. I mean, you know, in my mind, no one has really earned a title shot more than Seth Rollins and Finn Balor. Who's one man who has wins over both of them since his return back to WWE? Well, it's Adam Cole. So, I mean, if there is a man that can beat Roman Reigns, maybe it's him. Right? So, a win here tonight? Who knows? He could have a title opportunity coming his way. But, oh, oh Roman Reigns. That's what you call with a, a powerful slam there. And, uh, oh! And a Superman punch to Adam Cole. Come on, Cole. You've looked so good so far in this season. Oh! Roman Reigns, though. Oh, looking like he's making quick work of Adam Cole, but nice work for Cole to... Get out of trouble there temporarily, I guess. Now, Roman back on the assault, back on the prowl. Just playing with his food. Just stalking his prey, toying with it, getting psychological warfare, leaving him and coming back because he knows he's not going to go anywhere. I mean, it's just... Oh! It's just ridiculous, but Adam Cole... Realizing, getting this in, he's in trouble here, and now hitting Roman Reigns with a couple of stiff shots, and oh, oh, and he's got a figure four locked in, but I'll say on the outside of the ring, can't, can't win on the outside. Well, I mean, you can get a count out, which the ref is currently up to eight. Now Adam's got to get back in the ring before Solo throws him back in. Oh, and a backstabber, a backstabber to Roman Reigns, hooks the leg, gets a two count. Roman definitely surprised by that backstabber there. Oh, strong kick. Oh! That shining wizard to the back of the skull. Roman Reigns, how he's able to kick out of that. Oh, it's beyond me, but a jumping clothesline will uh, definitely slow Adam Cole's uh, attempt of, of a comeback down, that's for sure. Oh! Superman punch in the corner. Adam Cole takes a wild swing and a miss. Springboard and spear for Roman Reigns. Slingshots dang near cuts Adam Cole into two pieces. If Adam Cole had the vertebrae of a normal human being, who knows if he'd be standing right now? Well, he's not standing, but you know, who knows if he'd be moving right now? He certainly wouldn't be here if he had the vertebrae of Tony Romo. That man had a vertebrae and a pack of... Pez, man. <laughs> Adam Cole, though, man, he's he's in a, a bad way here. Oh, and that'll definitely not help the vertebrae. I can tell you that. Adam Cole now chucking Roman Reigns back in, looking for a little love and appreciation from this crowd. But the crowd is is now start to kind of turn back around. And has kind of maybe accepted faith that Roman Reigns might not ever relinquish this title, so they're just kind of leaning into it. Uh oh. Adam Cole baiting Roman Reigns in, but Roman apparently had a foot under the ropes. Nice catch by the ref. I didn't see it. 
And by the way, just in the future, just because I say I didn't see something, that doesn't mean I'm trying to accuse the ref of, of foul play or anything, all right? I've seen that from you guys in the comments. I, it's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying I didn't see it, all right? Uh, look, I own the company. I pay the refs. Oh, yeah. He's charging up. I don't know what he's going for here. Oh, a Superman punch. Cole able to get out of the way. And with a little dip and dodge. Uh-oh. And now another. Oh, shining wizard to the back of the skull. And Paul Heyman up on the, the turnbuckle. Oh, look at that. And Rev, one, two, three, four, five, six. Come on. Look, I'm not going to take anything away from Roman Reigns here, but... Dude, come on, man. I mean, look, I get it. He's held the title for, what, 1,100 days now? And, you know, you got to give him respect. I get it, but there's no denying he's had a lot of help. He's definitely had a lot of help. Um, I mean, jeez, man. That, that kind of stuff, I don't know. I don't know ooh, what we can do about that. But another backstabber by Adam Cole to Roman Reigns. Almost gets a three count off of it. Maybe if Adam Cole can land one more of those shining wizards to the back of the skull. It'll put Roman Reigns out of his misery. Wait, Roman Reigns looking for another Superman punch and he lands it. He lands it with authority. Now what's he looking to do here? Oh, another Superman punch. Another swing and a miss. Slingshot, engaged. Spear, same spot. Hooks the same leg. This time he's gonna get a three. Wow, well he definitely had some help there. No doubt about it. I don't know if he needed it per se, but I don't know, definitely sullies the win a little bit. Well folks, there you have it. Another episode of Raw in the books. Uh, look, I'm going to cut straight to the chase, man. I don't like how that ended. I don't like that Roman had some help. So I, I tell you what, I'm going to give Adam Cole his title shot, all right? Two weeks from today, he will have his title shot, and he will have it one-on-one -on -one in a steel cage match versus Roman Reigns. So make sure you guys tune in for that. And uh, who knows what's going to happen between now and then, all right? So uh, that's going to do it for us, man. Get out of here. Go have fun. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.